It was one of the biggest news events of the last decade, so it was only a matter of time before the Arab Spring made it into film. Director Ibrahim El Batut's portrayal of the Egyptian uprising exposes a version of events that is both dark and uplifting. It's a great indication for all human beings, not only Egyptians, that man, yes, you can be oppressed, you can lose your faith, but then one day the sun will rise again. Winter of Discontent premiered at the Venice International Film Festival in a category that focuses on new trends in world cinema. It tells the story of Egypt's 18-day revolution through three people, an activist, a journalist and a state security officer. Batut started shooting as he stood among the crowds in Cairo's Tahrir Square. His lead actor for years refused to comment on the Mubarak regime, but in the end became one of the first Egyptian celebrities to speak out. He really pushed the people to continue and not give up until he collapses. And I think that was the best thing the Egyptian people ever made. It's the best thing I have ever made. The film's director has for years challenged censorship and discussed contentious social issues through Egyptian cinema. But with Winter of Discontent, Batut hopes to send a message of hope. I never voted in my life, in my entire, I'm, I'm 49, never ever voted in my life. For the first time after the revolution I voted, which means that we have a chance. Maybe the change that will come will come gradually, maybe the change that will come we will not like it. But at least we have proven that we can bring that change. Winter of Discontent is set to be released early next year to coincide with the anniversary of the revolution. Suranjana Tawari, Al Jazeera. كان في إطار المشهد الحالي